epilepsy. It isn't uncommon. Right now in the UK, one in 131 people has it, and around 75 people are diagnosed with epilepsy every single day. A person with epilepsy looks just the same as anyone else. It can affect anyone, no matter what their age, race or background. Basically, epilepsy is a neurological condition in which people have recurring seizures, which we sometimes call fits. A seizure is caused by a sudden burst of excess electrical activity in the brain, resulting in a temporary disruption in the normal message passing between brain cells. Now, that means that the brain's messages become temporarily halted or mixed up. And seizures aren't all the same. Some appear quite minor, and onlookers might not even notice them. With some types of seizures, however, the person loses consciousness, while in other types there are different levels of awareness. In this programme, we'll focus on two particular types of seizure, and for both of these, it's important that you know the correct things to do. The first of these two seizures is the complex partial seizure. Consciousness is impaired, but not entirely lost. It might be characterised by bizarre behaviour, perhaps unusual facial expressions along with meaningless gestures. Plucking at clothes, fiddling with something, repeated swallowing. These are all possible signs. Sometimes, because of these symptoms, others may mistake someone having a complex partial seizure as being under the influence of alcohol. Excuse me, are you all right? The person isn't fully aware and is unlikely to be able to communicate. Their perception of what is going on around them is distorted. Their actions are illogical, such as they might wander around aimlessly. The important thing here is to guard them from any danger. Don't let them walk out into traffic, for instance. What you must never do is shout at them or try to grab them. That could be interpreted as aggressive behaviour as their perception is distorted. This could frighten them or cause them to lash out. Stay with them until they've recovered. This might take a few minutes, sometimes longer. If you're unsure whether it is an epileptic seizure, talk to the person. Are you feeling any better now? Yes, I am, thanks. I have epilepsy. OK. Is there anything I can do to help? Could you get me a taxi, please? Yeah, sure. 6756 to control. Can you arrange a taxi for me for the high street, please? Over. So why do people have seizures? Well, for many people with epilepsy, the actual cause is still pretty much unknown. In other people, seizures can occur after brain damage or an infection of the brain. The type of seizure that we've just seen, only part of the brain is affected, hence its name, complex partial seizure. If the whole brain is affected, it's called a generalised seizure, such as the tonic-clonic seizure we're about to see. This is the most recognisable type of epileptic seizure. Tonic means stiffening and clonic means jerking, which describes the two successive stages of this seizure. Typically, it begins with stiffening of the body, a fall, convulsions, low oxygen uptake, and as a result, blue colouring around the lips and cheeks. Sometimes the person might cry out at the start of the seizure as oxygen is forced out of their lungs. It doesn't mean, though, that they're in any pain. The first aid is, again, very simple. Don't move the person unless it's really necessary, that is, that they're in some kind of danger, but cushion their head. Remove any hazards in their immediate area. Don't try to hold them down or restrict their movements, and don't put anything in their mouth. As their breathing returns to normal, you'll notice that their normal colouring returns. If they've bitten their tongue or cheek, there could be some blood-flecked saliva. Sometimes they may be incontinent. This type of seizure usually lasts no more than a couple of minutes. Does he have epilepsy? Yeah, he's got a card. It should be in his pocket. People with epilepsy sometimes wear a bracelet or carry a card that explains their epilepsy.
He'll stop in a minute, he'll be all right. When the convulsions have stopped, okay. put right. them in the recovery position. All right, he's nearly finished. So what we'll do now is we'll just turn him into the recovery position, okay. make sure he's okay. In most cases, the person will come round after a couple of minutes. If this is the case, there's no need to call an ambulance. Only call an ambulance there, nice if the seizure doesn't stop after five minutes, or if it's followed by a second seizure, or if the person needs medical attention for injuries. Are you all right, Brendan? Yeah. Are you okay? You just had a bit of a seizure. All right. Just relax, nice and quietly. All right. My name's Keith. You'll be all right. We'll just look after you. Your friend's here as well. Okay. We'll look after. You. Sometimes a person who's had a tonic-clonic seizure may fall into a deep sleep afterwards. Quite often, people make the mistake of thinking a person found in this state in the street is either drunk or has taken drugs. All right, mate. However, it could be that that person has had an epileptic seizure and it's important to find out whether this is the case. Epileptic seizures are usually easy to manage. What's important is to be aware of epilepsy, to know what the symptoms might be, and to know what to do. Mostly, it's about common sense, assessing the situation. Is the person in any immediate danger? If so, gently steer or move them to a safe spot. Keep your first aid simple. Don't do unnecessary things that might injure the person. Stay with them. Make sure they're all right once the seizure's over. If you'd like to know more about epilepsy, contact Epilepsy Action. You can phone the Epilepsy Helpline free of charge on 0808 800 5050 or visit Epilepsy Action's website at www.epilepsy.org.uk.